The Zenfone 5 is a mid-range phone that looks like a flagship phone thanks to its design language having all aluminum sides with a glass back finish. Now holding a phone, it's really well balanced, it's solid, it does not feel heavy, it's just the right weight. In fact, the thumb activates the power button and the volume rocker easily. Looking on the bottom, there is headphone jack, Apple, take note, and a Type-C connector. Aside from that, this display is 6.2 inch that supports this Super IPS Plus panel that have this Full HD Plus resolution. Now there is a little bit of chin at the bottom right here that works in our favor because if you hold the phone in landscape, the palm area right here will not simply touch the screen that easily. Something you may face on other bezel-less phones where the menu just suddenly pop out and you have unwanted touch. In fact, talking about the screen, it is so much easier to view it under super bright noontime sunny condition because this screen can go full peak brightness at 550 nits. So I can actually view my Grab or my Google Maps because I travel a lot easily under sunny conditions. Something that a lot of mid-range phones struggle in this department, brightness, because they are limited to around 350 to 400 nits. AI photography is a big thing for ASUS right now. It's nothing more than subject identification and picking the right camera settings, basically uh, advanced auto mode. What it does is, for example, like landscape, it pops out the saturation a little bit more, at the same time uses a lower ISO, especially in uh, evening shots, so it does not look grainy and it just looks awesome, especially the colorful skies in the evening. And another one is pad photography. It uses a slightly faster shutter speed, especially like my Rockweiler, she runs around in the garden. It's not easy to capture her even with a fast shutter speed, she's just dashed everywhere. ASUS got it right in that department, but I hope to see more of this AI function rather than subject identification for now. It has dual camera setup on the back. The top camera is the wide angle 8 megapixel 12 millimeter lens with a 120 degrees field of view with an f2.2 aperture. I wish ASUS make it f1.8 to allow more light to enter the sensor. It will be great for low light. The bottom camera is the main shooter which is the 12 megapixel Sony top of the line IMX363 sensor with a 25mm lens, 1.8 aperture, optical image stabilizer with 4 axis stabilization. Sadly, the video only used electronic based stabilization up to 3 axis. The main camera focused fast and accurate even in low light situation thanks to its dual pixel face detection autofocus, a same technology that you find on Canon and Sony mirrorless camera. Plus, ASUS camera app UI is one of the most refined ones in the Android ecosystem. In fact, the top two in my list. The reason is simple. In auto mode, you can change your aspect ratio, enable HDR, go to bokeh mode without swiping left and right or enabling in settings. And it's easy. Aside from that, their pro mode is solid. You have your shutter and ISO control which some companies having pro mode or mid out shutter control I'm not sure why. ASUS even step up their game by getting their phone rated by the DxO Mark agency. Uh, agency that is well known for doing a lot of image sensor tests and also lens tests. And they gave this Zenfone 5 an overall score of 90 both for photo and video. For photo alone it's score 93. And some of the points that they highlight is good low light which I agree and night HDR, fast focusing, optical image stabilizer, and a flagship feature in a mid-range phone. That's what they say. The front-facing camera is an 8 megapixel f2.2 aperture, but I wish ASUS step up their game by providing a 30 megapixel with a 1.8 aperture. The Zenfone 5 is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 636 with AI capabilities and AI boosting. The AI boosting helps to improve performance. ASUS claim it can beat the much faster Snapdragon 660. It uses a 3300mAh battery and we have tested this in various situations for battery life. In fact, we are the first and the only one that uses the light meter since our very first smartphone review until today. We set the screen brightness to be at 3.4 exposure value at 100 ISO brightness which translates to 25% screen brightness on the phone and we tested this. So what we got is for media browsing streaming, we get 12 hours and 10 minutes with Wi-Fi on the fourth volume bar for headphones. Aside from that, we also test the full HD recording at 30 frames per second. With Wi-Fi on, it gave us 3 hours and 50 minutes, close to the 4 hours mark. Now aside from that, gaming, when it comes to Mobile Legends, it gives you a straight 8 hours non-stop gaming experience. 
So what do I think about the Zenfone 5? When it comes to the screen, it can go very bright in sunny conditions, so it's great for viewing your content. With the near bezel-less display, it pops out a little bit more in your hand. Design language-wise, with the glass back, it's premium looking, especially with the Meteor silver finish, it can act as a mirror if you choose to do so. But more importantly, that I felt that this phone was a flagship class is because of the camera. And they have come a long way since the Zenfone 3 series where they improved in ISO. Less artifacts and artificial sharpening. Thank you, ASUS. They have improved in the video. Less grainy, better exposure, and I would say better autofocus. And I know this best because I'm... I'm a person that likes to record my dog, my puppy, my Rockweiler, running around the garden as I play with her. And I, I use the Zenfone 3 Zoom as my main phone. And now, I'm going to swap to this. So would I recommend this? Definitely. I hope ASUS priced this very, very competitively in Malaysia market so everyone can taste what I taste. Uh, <laughs> So thanks for watching this video. Comment below what do you think about this Zenfone 5 or the Zenfone 5Z that is coming soon in Malaysia. Let me know what do you think we should review next. If you're interested in this product, links in the video description for our other contents and where to get this. See you guys in the next review video.